So all of these techniques that we've learnt uh, to do with stationary points, uh, minima, maxima, second derivatives, etc., uh, we now can apply to context and practical problems. So in this situation, we've got a farmer uh, who has 80 metres of fencing, and she wants to contain the largest rectangular area possible. She decides to use a stone wall as one of the sides, as shown in the diagram. So here's the stone wall, and we want to make a rectangular area with the 80 metres of fencing. What is the largest possible area she can make Okay, in there? So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up as an algebraic problem. Now, if we let the side length, uh, so the depth of this, um, of this region, and call that x, we let that be x, then both those sides will be x. Now, if all the way around is 80 metres, then that means that this side will be the full 80 metres, take away the lengths of those two sides. So take away x, take away x, so take away 2x. So then what we can do is we can write down um, what the area is equal to, because the area is just going to be the height times the width, so x times 80 minus 2x. So we can multiply that out. And we get 80x take away 2x squared. So now we can think, right, well, if I wanted to find the maximum possible area, what I'm going to be looking at is the maximum point on this curve. OK, so this is going to give me a graph where I can plot the x's against the area, and this is a parabola. I can factor out the uh, 2x, I can factor out 2x, and I would have 40 take away uh, x. So that means that this function would be going through 0 and 40. So 0 and 40. OK, and this is going to be a parabola that looks something like that. Now, just from the graph, we can think about, well, if it's a parabola, its maximum height will be halfway along. OK, so it will be when x is 20, because the curve will be symmetric, being a parabola. So when x is 20, OK, I can work out the area by substituting x is 20 into this. OK, so if I get 20 and I times by 80, take away two lots of 20, then I get 800. So the actual maximum area is going to be 800 square metres. OK, now what we could do is we could use differentiation to get to that result as well, because... When we're working through these problems, we're not going to be limited to just parabolas. And in order to solve this problem, I could use the symmetry of the parabola to solve it. If it's not a parabola, then I need to use calculus. I need to use differentiation. So if I was going down the differentiation route, OK, let me just erase this bit, give myself a bit of space. What we could instead do is find dA by dx, so differentiating the error with respect to x, and I'm going to get 80 take away 4x. So I'm going to be looking for the stationary point of that. So that is when dA by dx is 0. So I want to solve 80 take away 4x is 0, and so x would have to be 20, as we expected which allows me to then substitute into the A and get the 800 square metres. And that is the maximum possible area. You could also check that this is going to be a minimum point by finding the second derivative. Oh, not that yet. 
second derivative. Differentiating that, we get minus 4, which is clearly negative. So that means that, uh, you know, even if I can't really just substitute in x is 20 into that because there's no x there, it is minus 4. And so that stationary point will be a local maximum because you've got a negative result there. OK, so we can see that calculus differentiation is going to be able to help us solve these types of problems to find local maxima, local minima. OK, and we can utilize all those uh, results that we found in this section in these types of problems. And we'll go through a few more examples in the coming videos.